Marine biodiversity is critical to the uh, health of the planet. The oceans are the uh, basis of life in this planet. They regulate our climate. They provide us with food and medicines, recreation, scientific knowledge. They are 70% of the earth and the marine life is incredibly diverse but also under threat. We rely a lot on the oceans for our, our food and our resources and as the population grows we are relying on the oceans more and more. Unfortunately we know very little about our oceans but we're increasing our use and reliance on them. So at, a, at the very time when we need to be taking much greater care of our oceans uh, we are in fact increasing use and we do not have the appropriate regulatory systems in place globally to ensure that we don't overuse our marine resources. So we're overfishing, um, we are uh, polluting our oceans, climate change is a major threat to our oceans. In every single direction you look at our oceans and marine biodiversity are in decline. Climate change is, well, the oceans are very important um, as a carbon sink and the marine life is what gives us that, um, that facility. Uh, marine life um, provides both the um, sequestering of CO2 and the release of oxygen. And if we get that out of balance, then climate change becomes a much bigger and worse prospect than, um, than would otherwise be the case. Well, Australia has one of the most biodiverse um, uh, marine environments in the world. We are at the junction of three major oceans. Our uh, ocean area, which um, in terms of our management responsibilities is the third largest in the world, spans from the tropical areas of the north to the temperate areas of the south and right down to the sub-Antarctic areas of our claimed territories. Um, that's a big responsibility. It's an incredible legacy that we have. Um, we have very diverse marine um, environments, but at the same time we have, um, or there's pretty much no, uh, no part of that area that can't be fished. Um, certainly a number of our fisheries are overfished or status unknown. We're expanding oil and gas operations in a number of important areas in our oceans and we have a big problem with coastal development, land-based pollution entering our oceans and a range of other impacts that come from things like shipping. Well, the, the really important priority to start with is to put in place the foundations that will give us the best chance to secure what's left. And that is a system of protection through marine sanctuaries. Globally, the oceans are, are grossly underprotected. Less than 1% of the world's oceans are off limits from extractive activities such as mining and fishing. In Australia, we're not much better than that. We're only at 5% and the science community is telling us that we need to go much higher than that and it just stands to reason balance in use of our oceans should see at least 30 percent protection but percentages are just one way of looking at it it must come down to what's important for each area each habitat each ecosystem so putting in place a system of marine sanctuaries is the first critical priority in the, in the more medium term, it's critical that we also integrate our management better. At the moment, um, despite the interconnected fluid nature of our oceans, we manage our uses as if they are activities happening in complete isolation to each other. We don't look at cumulative use, we don't look at the, the combined impact of things like shipping, mining, fishing, uh, military use, etc. We need to consider those impacts together. Uh, and we need to make sure that we manage them according to what the ecosystem can withstand. That's called ecosystem-based management. It is world's best practice. Australia was set up 10 years ago to go down that path and it slipped away from us, but it's not outside our grasp and we need to move on to that very soon. My passion for biodiversity comes from my very firm belief that as humans we have a strong responsibility not just to ourselves but to every living being on this planet. Uh, and also because as an Australian many of the, the, the species here both on land and sea are unique because of the geological isolation of this country. So we have I think as Australians a particular responsibility not to disregard that. We need to protect those unique species and all the marine and terrestrial life that um, we have within our jurisdiction. It's a, it's a really important thing that we're doing. I'm very proud to be doing it. I do love it. Yes, I, I love it a lot, but it worries me that we're not moving fast enough
the planet won't wait for us.